In this question, we are given an inequality in set builder notation, and we are asked to graph it and to give the domain and range. The first thing I do is write the inequality as an equality. Two x equals four y. And now I'm going to do a table of values. I'm going to find the intercepts and one other point. If x is 0, 2 times 0 equals 4y. This simplifies to give 0 equals 4y. And when I divide both sides by 4, I get y equals 0. That means that both of my intercepts are in the same place at the origin, which means I cannot find the point y equals 0 as my second point. I would just find 0, 0 again. So I'm going to substitute choosing another x. If x is 2, 2 times 2 equals 4y. 4 equals 4y. Divide both sides by 4, and I get y equals 1. I have enough information to graph my line, but I'm going to do a third point just in case. If x equals 1, 2 times 1 equals 4y. That means 2 equals 4y. Divide both sides by 4, and I have y equals 0.5. Zero, 0, is the origin. 2, 1 will be here. And 1.5 will be here. We have a line going through the origin at this angle. I look at my original inequality to see if I should draw a solid or dotted line. And it is less than, not less than or equal to, so I will draw a dotted line. Now that I have my line, I have to do my shading. I need a test point for this. I cannot choose 0, 0 as my test point because the line goes through 0, 0. So I'm going to choose the point 3, 0. I write my original inequality to x less than 4y. And I replace the x with 3 and the y with 0. 2 times 3 is less than 4 times 0. 6 is less than 0. This is false. When I get a false from my test point, it means I shade away from the test point. That means I'm shading this up. All that's left to do is find the domain and range. When I have an oblique line with shading, the domain will always be all real numbers, and the range will always be all real numbers because all values of x will be used in the answer. All values of y will also be used in the answer. 